What's going on guys, it's Victory, and today we're here to check out yet another trailer from the PlayStation State of Play. This trailer is something that interests me for, for some reason. Resident Evil Village released a PSVR 2 experience for their game. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out the trailer and see what this is like and confirm my suspicions here. Because I have a feeling I know what now, most of the marketing is going to- Let's take a look at it. Wow. Well, Ethan Winters. As as expected. My Is it the whole game in PSVR? Jam? Just like uh, Resident Evil 7? Let's see how special you are. <laughs> yes, mother. Yes, I understand that they could have chosen that this is the marketing they chose from the original game, but they could have chose any scene to market PlayStation VR. Don't get me wrong, the game looks fucking phenomenal. And I think seven and uh seven and seven and village are gonna be the two games that I play fully in VR. This will be a fun experience for sure. <laughs> That's all right. Yeah. All right, you sold me. Obviously, Resident Evil's been working on their VR versions of their games forever, and Resident Evil Seven had an amazing VR port. Um, Resident Evil's been pushing the VR industry for their uh, for their ports of their games, and they've been doing a really good job. So I have no doubt that this one, especially if it's built from the ground up for the PSVR two to be like a flagship game for their hardware it's gonna be amazing and i have no doubt that i will if it's a psvr 2 exclusive i eventually will have to get the psvr if i want to play it in vr for seven and eight but fuck it if so so be it by the time we get to that point we've invested enough to get the psvr 2 and i've had the psvr 1 i have one out in the living room right now um it's the first vr headset i ever bought and the headset that i play tested that got me into vr um, in the first place, so I owe it to PlayStation to get their second headset to so. I look forward to seeing where this game goes, and I'm interested to see just how many people play this game for the sake of playing the game. And I say that only because I saw how quickly the game itself devolved into degeneracy after it came out. And we've, I think we talked about it on podcasts before multiple times, how interesting Resident Evil Village was marketing-wise. I hope to maybe play this game on the channel in the future, or maybe on live for a stream. But without further ado, I've been Victor, and I will see you guys real soon. Peace.